Hello happy YouTubers, this is Marcelina and it's so great to have you here. Welcome to Catch Your Brains. Today what I'm going to talk about is citrus leaf drop. Why is citrus tree dropping off leaves? What causes and how to fix it? This is most frequent question people ask. And I'm going to go over this topic with you and provide you with the solution to help you get started. But before we get going guys, let me first ask you two serious questions. Number one. Have you subscribed to our YouTube channel and ring the bell? By subscribing and clicking the bell, you get notified of each one of our newest video. We upload video every week. We don't want you guys miss any valuable information such as this. Second question, have you visited cashewgreens.com and subscribed to the newsletter? Subscription is free. It doesn't cost you anything. Now, you might be asking me this question, Marcelina, why would I subscribe to your newsletter? Here is why. Your subscription is where we send you the promo code discount. So if you don't subscribe, you don't get a discount. Now, let's say, let's say for example, you are going to uh, visit cashewgreens.com and you want to buy citrus. Now, if the citrus is $39.99, and you are not a member of cashewgreens.com that is what you are paying so you are paying the full amount if you are a member of cashewgreens.com instead of paying a full amount of $39.99 you only pay $33.99 so basically you get 15% off discount of your citrus now here is the cat so stick with me alright your discount is not limited so you can get discount each month as a member. So if there is a discount in other products, except the Amazon products, we have no control with that. So we cannot give you a discount, except the product that we carry, like citrus or any kind of plants you buy, or books or something like that. So you will get a discount. Now, discount can be 15%. 20%, 50%, or 75% depending on what is the trending on that month. Alright? So after you watch this video, go ahead, go straight, visit the website, scroll down, below is the newsletter, sign in, and then just go and check, look around what's what's in the store. Okay. Enough for that. <laughs> Let's go back to our video. Why is citrus tree dropping off leaves here is why all right so why is citrus tree dropping off leaves what causes and how to fix it by nature citrus trees may lose or drop some leaves during flowering time or during fruiting time because plant needs a tremendous amount of energy to support this new fast growing tissue such as flower or fruit and it draws energy from the old leaves mostly you see from the lower branch and sends energy towards the flowering or to the fruiting citrus to complete the cycle so that is natural and as you can see my calamandin here is dropping uh, some of the leaves and this is calamandin leaves because it is in the flowering stage right now so once the energy is out from these leaves it wither away because there is no life so that is natural cause another natural cause is in springtime so when spring is approaching you notice your citrus is starting to lose some leaves because your plant is trying to remove some of the old leaves to replace the new new growth so that is also natural however during fruiting or during flowering time your citrus tree should not lose majority of the leaves because if it does there might be some serious problems of your citrus that you will need to investigate so in this video i'm going to share with you three major uh, causes of citrus leaf drop so stick with me and watch the rest of the video coming up there are three major causes why your citrus tree dropping off majority of its leaves number one environmental cause number two nutrient deficiency number three pests and diseases 
whether you grow your citrus in container or directly in the ground, you must provide your tree with proper environment. If you grow in the container, the container must be big enough for the mature tree so there is enough room for the roots to grow. And it has to be breathable because you want oxygen to the roots so your root system can take a proper amount of oxygen and also preventing root bound. A root bound tree will suffer uh, a stress, it would uh, lose leaves or yellow and die uh, in the long run because the root is not getting enough oxygen. Now if you grow citrus in the ground, you can grow citrus in the ground if you live in tropical region. Now make sure that the soil is well draining soil because if you notice uh, clay in the soil then your best way is to grow your citrus in the container. Clay can interfere water and nutrients absorption or you can dig 12 feet down depending how bad is the, the soil you can do that and then add a lot of compost because compost can break uh, clay soil over time now watering now the most common problem of citrus losing leaves or dying plants is improper watering now citrus requires one gallon of water per day depending on the weather condition but during winter month you should not be watering your citrus daily water once a week what i would do i water one full one, one pitcher and then water my citrus for that week and i had to make sure that i deeply water the plants and if i grow the citrus in a three gallon container i deep water my citrus and then sit the root for two to three minutes so the water can equally distribute to all the roots so that's how i do so manage your watering because over watered plants end up a root rot and uh, phytophthora is a fungus disease that causes root rot so you need to avoid that now the second uh, problem is nutrient deficiency macronutrients which is the nitrogen phosphorus and potassium is important to your plants as well as the micronutrients which is the zinc uh, iron calcium and other minerals so these macronutrients and micronutrients must be balanced because if it, the other one is too much then the micronutrients will be depleted then you end up of having yellowing of the leaves and dropping leaves so because of the uh, imbalanced nutrients so make sure that you uh, check the soil pH, that's also another factor because a high pH like uh, 8.3 or 8.5 reduces the ability of iron, manganese and other uh, iron, manganese and phosphorus in the, it's not available to, your, to the roots so your roots cannot take up these minerals and providing to the, uh, to the plants so that's why your plants is suffering and the leaves will be turning yellow so you end up uh, uh, induced what we call it that iron deficiency also known as lime uh, induced lime chlorosis just bear with me <laughs> so that's what the so you have to check the pH so make sure that the pH is in the ap uh, applicable range and citrus like slightly acidic 6.5 but sometimes you cannot get 6.5 if you can target 6.8 that is a favorable pH in most plants so use the vinegar watch my other video how we applied vinegar and I will show you next time about the acidifying so that would be my next topic uh, how to uh, manage soil acidification and what type of acidifier you have to apply so I will cover that in next video so again check your pH that is the most important thing to make sure that your citrus is not nutrient imbalance so manage and uh, if you want to if you want more information on citrus problems guys watch my other videos I have tons of citrus uh, videos you can watch uh, why the citrus dropping uh, dropping blossoms so that in fruit so that's a good video so what's all those videos so again what's the video right I am not really covering too much in here because it would take too long it's already too long video now the, the, the last one is the pest and diseases now one of the major uh, common uh, pests that I have here is the mealybugs this sucking pest 
loses the integrity of the leaves and oh my gosh and it is difficult sometimes can be difficult to get rid of them if they are too many it kills the plot so make sure that you notice any millibugs or, millibugs or spider mites and I have a lot of millibugs back then and I controlled it with neem and also alcohol so I spray alcohol and then loosen it so you have to apply it quite often and uh, this is uh, one of the most common uh, disease on citrus that I have experienced in my in the greenhouse is this uh, what is this the greasy spot and that is one uh, most common citrus problem I have there are so many uh, problems that causing the leaves to drop but that is one of the most major problem I have here in the greenhouse and I controlled it using the neem and spraying the plants seven, uh, seven times until and if you have this uh, greasy spot you have to remove the leaves because it won't recover once it is yellow and the lesion is there you have to remove all the infected leaves bag it because you don't want to spread this uh, pathogen and you don't want to score probably for the next neighboring plants you end up having uh, disease citrus so you have to quarantine your citrus and I strip all my citrus tree when there is infestation going on and I hope this video helped you guys again what's my other citrus video so this is for today if you have any questions write your comments below and also don't forget to check the website and sign up. Thank you guys for watching. This is Marcelina. See you next time.